The human being is the most mysterious creation on the planet. The human body seems to be a perfect biomachine, which performs a variety of functions not only on the outside, but also on the inside. We move through three-dimensional space, do different tasks, make decisions, process information, and communicate. But there is something unaccounted for, which modern equipment cannot yet detect, but which is clearly felt by mankind. This component of subtle matter, which is invisible to the eye, is the human energy structure. The energy structure has the form of a truncated pyramid with a top. The square base of the pyramid is divided into four parts by a diagonal cross. The human being is located in the center of the diagonal cross, which divides the space around the man into four parts that have volume, meaning that in front of him, behind and on each side of him, there are four triangle-shaped spaces. These areas are zones of aspects. The human body also emits the so-called biosphere. The biosphere is non-uniform because the frequency emitted by the brain differs from the frequency of other organs, such as kidneys or liver. That's why the biosphere of the human being is multicolored. Now, let's take a closer look at the detached top of the pyramid. The top is located about half a meter or one and a half feet above the tip of the head. This distance is approximate because each person is unique. It is here, in the top of the pyramid, that thoughts are born. The personality of the human being is located in the center of the top. Any person feels as personality during life. The personality is that part of us which makes choices between the spiritual and animal natures, draws conclusions, does analytical work, and accumulates personal experience of sensually emotional dominance. Between the top and the truncated pyramid, there is consciousness, or rather a field of consciousness, which consists of septons. The top of the pyramid is kind of an antenna, which constantly receives thoughts, Thoughts, in their turn, are waves coming from the outside. The process of emergence of thoughts in the human consciousness can be roughly divided into three stages. Thoughts attack or excite the membrane structure of the top of the pyramid. A wave of excitation is transmitted further to the field of consciousness, and this process is the response of consciousness to the outside thoughts. The field of consciousness, in its turn, transmits reactive response impulses to the personality and the brain. Interestingly, one of the same areas of the personality and the brain are excited. At the same time, the septon activity of the consciousness field increases. At the third and final stage, the human brain sends a response impulse to the personality through the septon field of consciousness. Here's how this process looks. Now, let's take a look at the main and the most important part of the human structure, the soul. The soul is true antimatter. The rest of energy structure in six dimensions is built around it. If we take the structure of the physical body, then the approximate location of the soul is the area of the solar plexus. In other words, the actual center of the man. The soul enters the developing energy structure of the human being on the eighth day after the birth of the physical body. Between the soul and the personality, there is a so-called silver thread. This is a channel that connects the soul and the personality. The soul is continuously sending the power of Allah to the personality through this septum channel. The power of Allah is given to men for the purpose of fusing the personality with the soul. This power is actually the power of attention. The personality activates those programs to which it gives the power of its attention. If the personality gives more attention to the septon field, 
meaning the material existence, then the power of Allah is irrevocably spent to maintain and develop the material system. As a result, after the death of the body, the personality turns into sub-personality, which is an information part of the mortal material system. If the personality gives more attention to the deepest feelings each day, directing them towards the soul, as a result, a quality change of the human energy structure takes place, and the personality fuses with the soul. An entirely new being is formed, a being of the spiritual world. The process of learning his nature is endless for the human being, just like the number of unsolved mysteries of the human existence. People have yet much to learn, since each answer raises even more questions.